Welcome to Live a Better Life Tarot Channel. Please share and subscribe and hit the bell to get notified. Your donations are welcome and appreciated. If you are new to my channel, please watch the featured video. It should shed some light on the way I do, my readings and my approach overall. The reading you are about to watch cannot and will not resonate with everybody. However, if it does, I hope it helps you live a better life one way or the other. Let's begin. Hi Aquarius, this is your weekly May 17th through May 23rd tarot reading. Let's talk about your work or your business situation first. We've got the King of Wands, we also have the Knight of Wands, clarified by the Seven of Pentacles, and we have the King of Swords. You could be dealing with a Fire Sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, or an Air Sign, Gemini, Libra, or another Aquarius. I think the King of Swords in the spread is you, male or female, doesn't really matter, and you'll be teaming up with a fire sign, the king of wands, or this person is very passionate, very fiery, could be a good business person, this person is really easy to get up and go, and a quick thinker too, could be a quick thinker. And uh, like I said, you're teaming up with them, you're collaborating with this person, it could be uh, someone you work with, or someone you're going to go in, into business with, um, and you are waiting for some kind of an action to take place. Perhaps you are signing a contract or you're signing a, some kind of an agreement and uh, you have either just signed it and now you're waiting for whatever action that you have agreed upon to uh, begin or you're waiting to you know, establish something with this person so then um, whatever you agree upon could start to unfold. Um, so yeah, looks uh, very uh, promising. Hopefully this um, collaboration goes a long way for you Aquarius. Aquarius, if you are in an established love relationship such as marriage or a long-term partnership, this spread is for you. We've got the Eight of Wands, the Emperor and the Two of Cups. You could be dealing with an Aries. So the Emperor card in the middle is either an Aries or this is your significant other you are dealing with or um, somebody is taking control in the situation and uh, you know the two of you could be going on a trip together that's what the 801s could be about, could be traveling by air if this is at all possible uh, considering what's going on in the world or um, this person could be um, making a proposal, right? Because the Eight of Wands is often called the Cupid's Aries cards. And we also have the Two of Cups on the right. The Two of Cups is uh, an unconditional soulmate love. So somebody could be either uh, proposing to you or somebody could be telling you that they love you. Perhaps you were just casually dating and finally... Um, this is uh, going to be taken to the next level, whatever that level is for you, right? So either way, there is communication, there is love, and um, somebody could be taking control of the situation. The emperor is uh, sometimes called the husband figure, so this could be the future energy <laughs> of uh, your significant other. Um, the, if you are already married, you could be renewing your vows or something could be taking place where your uh, love for each other is renewed in one way or the other. So no matter how I slice it or dice it, the spread it looks amazing and the Two of Cups is one of the best cards when it comes to uh, love. Um, congratulations Aquarius. Aquarius, if you are on a quest for new love, this part is for you. We've got the King of Swords, we also have the Two of Swords clarified by the Eight of Swords and we have the Ace of Cups with the Four of Wands on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Air Sign, Gemini, Libra or another Aquarius. The King of Swords in this spread is uh, most likely you, male or female, absolutely doesn't matter. This is your one of your personal cards. Um, and we do have the Ace of Cups here on the table. This is one of the best cards when it comes to new love offers, right? But for some reason, there is uh, somebody is not really open to this new love offer, or somebody is really um, confused in a way whether should they propose or not, should they 
uh, let the other person uh, know about their feelings or not you know there is some kind of a stuckness in their up in their head uh, but uh, the swords are always thoughts right so if you're the one who is thinking about uh, letting the other person know about your feelings then I think you should go ahead we've got the uh, four of ones on the bottom of the deck this is a very um, happy stable relationship card uh, some people call it the 11 11 card so the timing is right go go ahead and let them know you love them <laughs> go ahead and ask them out um, do something take action don't be uh, scared I think there is love on the other side as well um, or this is uh, keep in mind it could be the other way around somebody could be feeling this way about you they really love you but they're uh, either afraid or shy to let you know so if somebody comes through be receptive be kind if you do love them you know tell them you love them back um, so yeah that's where you stand in terms of new love let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you Aquarius this week uh, we've got the ace of swords the empress we also have the ten of swords clarified by the nine of cups and we have the six of wands you could be dealing with um, anybody but keep in mind that uh, this person could be from a couple of months ago this could be somebody from six months ago or a couple of years ago so somebody does want to uh, get back into your good graces and they're gonna come in and they'll have a very straight forward cut through conversation with you they will just lay it all out that's what the ace of swords is all about they do want this new beginning with you the Empress card is uh, most likely uh, that's the way they see you um, the Empress is often called um, a wife figure or a spouse figure so they do see you as someone they want to have a future with right um, the Empress is also the mother of the deck so this is a, one of the strongest cards in the deck um, or one of the most positive cards in the deck we do have the ten of swords clarified by the nine of cups so I was a little bit confused about the ten of swords showing up here so I clarified it by the nine of cups and then pulled uh, another card that symbolizes uh, the outcome but about that a little bit later so the ten of swords clarified by the nine of cups for me this represents uh, the end of the struggle um, the Nine of Cups is a wish fulfillment card, so whatever was uh, going on between the two of you in the past, that's going to come to an end, and uh, a wish will be fulfilled here, like a prophecy, <laughs> right? Um, and uh, we have the, t uh, the uh, Six of Wands, this is a victory card, and this is the outcome, as I was saying a few seconds ago. Um, so this person uh, wants a victory with you and I think um, you will eventually um, give in <laughs> and uh, back in the day the six of wands was called a proposal card so I'm not gonna um, say that this is not going to happen eventually if you uh, decide to let this person back into your life right so this looks really good uh, but I think ultimately it will be up to you whether you want to rekindle this relationship with this person or not but like I said they have very uh, serious intentions they see um, a future with you and they do want a victory with you and then down, down the road at some point uh, they may uh, propose to you let's see if anything will surprise you Aquarius this week we've got the six of wands the king of swords and the will of fortune you could be dealing with an air sign Gemini Libra or another Aquarius I think the king of swords in the spread is you uh, male or female absolutely doesn't matter and what will surprise you this week is uh, either about love or finances the six of wands is a victory card so uh, perhaps if you weren't um, expecting to win at something or to um, you know 
get something done your way, <laughs> then uh, you'll be surprised by the fact that this is going to be the way you want it to be. Um, the Wheel of Fortune is here as well. Um, you could get fortunate about something or you could be going on a trip or some kind of a victorious cycle in your life is about to begin unexpectedly. And like I said, it could be about love or it could be about finances. It's also possible that somebody is coming back and they do want to uh, start or restart something with me. It kind of reminds me of the X spread a little bit I did for you a few seconds ago. But overall, this is a very positive, very um, energetic and moving forward spread. We do have two cards of moving forward or just being victorious. Both the Six of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune are, um, you know, cards of you being on top of your own game. And uh, this will surprise you this week. And there you have it. This was your tarot reading for this time period. I hope it resonated with you and helps you live a better life one way or the other. Thank you for watching, sharing and subscribing.